So in this case, we're supposed to decide whether the highlighted atom is being oxidized or reduced. So this is one way that chemists use oxidation number. It helps us to determine whether or not we have a redox reaction or an oxidation reduction reaction, uh, which is what redox is short for. So in order to determine whether uh, silicon here is oxidized or reduced, we need to assign the oxidation number of the silicon atom here and of the silicon atom on this side of the chemical equation. So let's follow the rules that we used for the previous topic. So if I'm using these rules, I would assign um, an oxidation number for this silicon atom here of, it would be positive four. On this side, the silicon atom would have an oxidation number of positive four again. So because the oxidation number of the silicon uh, atom on the left side and the right side is exactly the same, that means that it was neither oxidized nor reduced. Let's look at the second uh, reaction. We have carbon here in methane. Let's assign it an oxidation number. And if I'm going to assign it an oxidation number, this carbon atom will have an oxidation number of minus four. And over here, this carbon would have an oxidation number of plus four. So was that carbon oxidized or reduced? Well, what is oxidation? Oxidation is what we call the loss of electrons. Reduction is the gain of electrons. So oxidation number, again, as a recap, is giving us an idea of this atom. Does it have more or less valence electrons than it normally does in its natural pure state? Carbon normally has four valence electrons. Because here it has an oxidation number of minus four, that means that this carbon atom actually is holding on to four more valence electrons than it normally would. And here, this carbon atom is, has four less valence electrons than it normally would. They're spending their time more around the oxygen. So this carbon atom was actually oxidized. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. It went from negative oxidation number to a more positive oxidation number. So we would put oxidized here. Let's look at the next reaction. Here we have elemental nitrogen. Its oxidation number here would be zero. Here, this nitrogen atom is going to have an oxidation number. If I check my rule of 3B, it will have an oxidation number of minus three. What does that mean? It was reduced. It has gained three more electrons than it had at the beginning of this reaction because the oxidation number became more negative. And if you can kind of think of it as neg electrons are negatively charged. So when the oxidation number becomes more negative, then it gained more negatively charged electrons. Let's look at this example. We're looking at the copper atoms. So this copper has an oxidation number of plus two. It's copper to chloride. And here, these copper ions have oxidation numbers of plus one. So what does that mean? That means that that copper atom, what happened to the oxidation number? It became more negative, right? It was positive two, became less positive, more negative. So it gained negatively charged electrons, so it was reduced.